Okay, all right. Y'all ready? Yeah. Okay, so number one, how was the water? Good. Good, Good great. How many ounces do you drink? Good. How many, how many uh, ounces of water do you drink? I was in here. That's not the question. <laughs> <laughs> how do you not know how much water you drink? At least from, from the fountain or something? At least from more like the, the bottle you drank out of. Uh, he should know, should he not? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's Whose fault is that? Uh, ours. 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 Right. Hey, accountability starts now, right? Accountability starts now. How much water did you drink? Today, uh, like five bottles or nine. Okay. Five or six. Good. All right, last time we went over protein, okay? So protein, sports performance for baseball, um, and we covered over how many grams you should be consuming as, as an athlete, and we went over um, a whole bunch of different sources. How many of you worked on that? Pretty good amount? Okay, how much, how much protein? Does anyone know exactly how much protein they ate that day, right? Let's see. I got them. Because you did your homework, right? Yeah, I did. Oh, boy. Uh, yesterday, it was 136 grams. 136 grams. And how far off were you from one gram per pound of body weight? Uh, I think it was over. Or, so You weighed 136 pounds? No, 155. Okay, so yeah. that was lower. So you were riding around the 0.8, mm -hmm. right? So the maintenance as an adult. You see how that works? And I would consider him to be a very good student of this, this part of the game. Do you see how he's still low? How many of you actually met your goal? All right. So this is the first thing, right? So we, we know for a fact that we got to meet a protein goal, okay? That has to happen. Because the protein represents what area of the tree? Right, the roots down here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put aminos or amino right there, because the amino acids that are there are super important for recovery and building a solid base for muscle. This is also the foundation of what we need to have so that way everything can really grow, and this is super important at your age, okay? What you develop here will really, really help you. Now, when it comes down to sourcing of these items, what were the two big ones I mentioned? Chicken. Chicken and fish. fish. Outstanding, good. All right, so I'm not gonna put that on the tree, I'm gonna leave that alone. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the other one today, which is carbs. 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 Okay, now you notice how this tree has two arrows like that, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just eliminate some of my little, little grass right here, and some of this stuff. Okay, so carbs, okay? We're gonna talk about two different types of carbohydrates today, and we're gonna talk about how that correlates to performance. Number one is you have to understand what a carbohydrate is, okay? so. Anyone, take a guess. What's a carbohydrate? Bread. Bread, okay, right? Rice. Rice. Potatoes. Potatoes, good. What else? Pasta. Pasta, ready? Fruit, right? Fruit. Vegetables have carbs in them. Okay, there's carbohydrates almost everywhere. Almonds have carbohydrates in them. Okay, carbohydrates are small little parts of, of energy that comes into the body. Our body, our muscles will utilize energy in creatine first, and then it will go glucose, insulin, glucose, and the glycogen. Glycogen is the big one I'm gonna talk about today. Now, glycogen is where carbohydrates can come into the muscle and it can be used for energy, all right? Now, there's two types of carbohydrates we're gonna break this down into. You may have heard something like a simple sugar have you ever heard of that no. some of you yeah okay so simple and complex all right we're going to talk about the difference between the two i'm going to put an s over here and a c over there okay complex okay i'm going to give you a few examples of a complex carbohydrate and i'm going to explain how that energy works inside your muscle and this is going to be super important to your recovery and performance number one okay rice okay Rice is a complex carbohydrate, okay? Potatoes, complex carbohydrate. I'm gonna give you one more. Oats, complex carbohydrate, all right? Complex carbohydrates, okay, are like a solid, big bowling ball, okay? 
That's not a fat face. <laughs> I don't know, F y'all. Look, it's a bowling ball, all right? So if I took a bowling ball and I was to take it just like this and slam it on the ground, what's it really going to do? No, right? It's just a big thump, right? That's it. It's a solid ball of energy, okay? That's what it is to the body, all right? Now, if I took a bag of beans, okay, or a big old bag of Skittles, and I was to go like this, bam, right? What do you think is going to happen? Explode. Explode everywhere, right? So simple is going to be small little balls of energy that release into the bloodstream and into the muscle at rapid rates everywhere, okay? This is small little shots of energy that, that go and scatter, okay? So I want, you, I want you to think about that. So if a complex carbohydrate is something like rice, potatoes, and oats, Simple sugars are more like candy, fruit, cake, cookies, <laughs> all right, your Oreo cakesters, your little <laughs> Debbies, where's my zebra cakers, all right, yeah, I know who you are, all right, so you see what I'm talking about, those are simple sugars, and all you're providing for your body is these little shots of energy that will scatter, now what do you think comes along with that? Tiredness. Why? Because it's just a little amount, right? It's just little, little, little shots that's got to go anywhere and everywhere. It's, it scatters and then it's gone. Okay? This is why sports drinks uses simple sugars because they're cheap, they're easy, and all they do is come into the body and then they spread around like wildfire to give you quick energy. And then all of a sudden you're like, whoo, thank heavens that's over. You see how it works? So anytime we take something that has a simple sugar, our reaction is going to be pretty, pretty much like this. Now there's some fruit and some vegetables that can kind of cross and, and mix in, but they each have their own reaction. Now I want to talk about real energy inside the muscle and recovery. Okay. So if I was building a menu plan, because this is what we're here for, I'm not here to teach you science. Okay. I'm here to teach you how this works in the baseball world. So what do you think you should start with for a, for a solid form of energy? What do you think you should start with? Rice. Right, rice. Okay, so so let's go ahead and use rice. Right now, how many people have heard that rice is bad for you? It's probably a few. Okay, I, I used to hear that sometimes too. Rice is not bad for you, but you know what kind of rice can be bad for you? Red rice. Fried. Spanish rice. Fried. Like fried rice, right? You going to the Chinese joint is not going to help you with complex carbohydrates. You see what I'm saying? And then it's going to be a whole bunch of what that comes with it? Gas. I'm fat. <laughs> yeah, gas, tiredness, right? Fat, right? A bunch of, because they're going to have to saute it in oil and butter and salt. And they have to load that up. So given the option, if you had white rice, brown rice, yellow rice, I'm okay with that, okay? Take your pick, but listen, when you build a program, I need you to work on that. Now, potatoes, okay? What about potatoes? What kind of potatoes should we eat? <laughs> you can do mashed potatoes, it's fine. Look, your, your kids, you're gonna burn up through half this Sweet stuff. Potatoes. <laughs> Sweet potatoes are gonna be at the top of the list, right? Sweet potatoes. Mm. Red potatoes. <laughs> Really okay. good for you. Red yeah, potatoes. Red potatoes. Yeah. Me neither. Red potato? No. Yeah, you live in a box? Yeah. <laughs> no, you got to live a little bit. My bedroom. <laughs> live a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. small little red ones. Well, hey. Red potatoes are those small ones. Yeah. Yeah, roasted. Yep, roasted red potatoes. Have you ever had a low country boil? Yes. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I told you, I was out in Louisiana, same thing. You been to a crawfish boil? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's a good, that's a good time right there. Crawfish boil, same thing. Okay. Look, red potatoes are great, okay? Totally fine. Once again, you can have mashed potatoes. You can do these things and, and have good complex carbohydrates, all right? So I'm gonna leave that alone, okay? Simple sugars you should have, okay? I mentioned one. Fruit. Fruit, okay? We can use fruit on a pretty consistent basis. And one of the major reasons why is because it contains all sorts of micronutrients, vitamins, minerals that we can use for energy as well. 
But this is also, this is gonna be the fastest way we can get rapid fire movement to get simple sugars to go through our muscles so we can perform. Most athletes do not use the right things when they go to the ball field. How, how many, once again, how many plays travel baseball, showcase baseball, raise your hand real quick. So when you play, all right, and you do that, what do you think happens? You, you eat fast food. You eat junk in between, right? You notice how I didn't mention french fries for a potato, <laughs> right? Does that crap don't work? You see what I'm saying? Notice how I'm not telling you to go ahead and have some candy or ice cream or you see how they do like the shaved ice and oh, yeah. oh man so good bro it's a jam that, that, that junk will mess you up you know what i'm saying so i need you to have a piece of fruit with you. have an apple an orange a banana take some berries look you can find different ways to do this okay i'm not telling you that it's got to be perfect but what i am telling you is that you're going to have to have this too okay this is a very big part of getting getting a lot more performance now, as we start to develop really inside the weight room, I'm going to tell you how pre-workout, because I know some of you have heard what a pre-workout is, right? Because mm -hmm. some of you take it and you don't even do nothing with it, slack, which is wrong. But if you were going to have something to do a little pre-workout and you were trying to get energy to move your body, right? Fruit, okay? Fast way to get energy to move inside your body so that way you can work out, feel pretty good. And then after, when you get done, what else do you think you can have? Fruit. Again. Okay. Now, there's a little secret behind this. Okay. So, this is glycogen. Okay. Is that, can anyone draw it on? Here, yeah, come here. Yeah, come here. If he, if he messes up, I got you. Okay, ready? Well, this is how this works. If he messes okay? up. You want muscle or no muscle? Uh, I know. I need a bicep, bro. I need, I need a gun. I got you. Okay, no, you I have exactly, he, listen, he's exactly one minute to draw me a nice arm. Otherwise, you guys will have 100 push-ups today. Oh, yeah. oh dog. Okay, so as he's drawing an arm, <laughs> as he's drawing an arm, we're going to talk about this. That's a foot. <laughs> can, I, can you tap me <laughs> So as he's doing this, I need you to pay attention. So the thing with glycogen is that your your muscle really needs this for energy, okay? And as we go through this, are you done with this? Yeah, yeah. This is horrible. <laughs> no. At least he's done with it. Hey, clap it up for him, please. Great job. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, you are worse than me, so let's go ahead and raise it. <laughs> Alright, so, so if I have an arm, okay, if I have an arm, okay, and here's my glycogen tank. So as you eat food and it digests and it goes back into your bloodstream, you ever see you ever see how like you know a bodybuilder or anyone with big muscles, they'll flex and their arms just right up, okay? I want you to think about that as a tank, okay? Think about that as a glycogen store. But as you keep pumping it, he starts getting weaker, right? Because he's like, man, I'm getting that, I'm losing energy. See how it works? And then all of a sudden, you see them see them people that, that don't do nothing with their arms, and all of a sudden they're like, hey, I got a flapper down here. <laughs> right? You ever see that? That's what happens when it gets totally depleted. Now, there's a secret behind that. It's actually hanging muscle and skin. Usually it's not so much fat tissue. But people say crazy stuff. But either which way, as you eat, as you eat food and you work out, that glycogen tank, when you eat a piece of fruit, this thing is going to be up. When you eat potatoes and rice and oats, this glycogen tank fills up. So it's super important to have carbs before you work out or before you train or go to practice. You see that? It's very important. And then as you work out and train, this depletes, right? And then what I talk about, it starts getting rural, right? There it goes. So you need to eat again so that way this tank can fill back up and we can keep this away. Does that make sense? You see that? Athletes that do not use carbohydrates before and after practice, before and after the weight room, before and after they do stuff, they will fail 10 times more than not. You need to eat. You need to keep that tank full. When you deplete glycogen, you need to do what? Deplete it. Fill it up. Bring it right back up. 
okay? And you need to do that by eating as much, right? We need to have this a lot, but we need to also make sure we have this. So let's go ahead and go into how much should we be eating a day? All right, now I gave you the equation before. Let's see who paid attention. Protein, if you're a regular everyday walking around person eating protein to stay healthy, you should be eating how much? Thank you. And if you're an aspiring athlete to get as much out of your muscles and performance, what should you have? One and a half. Outstanding, man. We get somewhere. I love this. And so, ready? So, now carbohydrates, ready? So, I'm going to go for just a simple scale, I'm going to go one to 2.5 grams per right pound of body weight. All right, now that should be an interesting equation. Now, how many calories do you think is in one gram of protein? Four. I mean, oh, one gram of carbohydrate. Nine. Nine. Four. Nine. Nine. Four. 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 Right, four. All right, we covered over that a little bit. Right, so one gram of protein, okay, is four calories. One gram of carbs is four calories. And one gram of fats is? Nine. Nine. Very good, very good. So the difference in caloric value and how you eat can also very much be dictated on how that works. You cannot starve yourself of these two and try to bring in a baseball players do not work as well in performance with a high in fat diet. You will not. And guess what most of your diets are? Fat. Notice how when we went over your initial walkthrough, a lot of it was high in fat food. This is where I'm gonna tell you I need you to switch your thinking, okay? If you're gonna be an athlete, once we get in this weight room, once we're living on practices and we can legally do that and rip it up, I'm telling you right now, you're gonna to need to make sure that you're eating this in carbohydrates no matter what, every day. That has to happen, okay? And once again, why am I not giving you a meal plan or anything that is specific to just whatever for baseball? Why am I not doing that? Because you're how tall? And what do you weigh? So you, what you eat is totally different than what is your height? And what is your weight? Do you see my point? You cannot appropriately give a meal plan to anybody when you don't have all the right data, nor am I helping you or doing you any favors to tell you how much you should eat. What you need to do is you need to keep track of this because what's gonna happen to your weight when you really lift and you really fuel it? You're gonna go up because muscle is heavier than fat. And as that comes up, your numbers will change and you better change with it. Because if you don't, you're gonna find out that your results will stop. And then you'll be like, man, I was working so hard. I'm sure you've experienced that in the gym. Hayden? Have you ever experienced that where you all of a sudden hit a massive plateau? Okay, right? Coaches, right? If you, once you hit a massive plateau, nine times out of 10, nutritionally, you have not made the switch enough to grow past that point in time. Your body has adapted to the fuel source that you gave it in amino acids and carbohydrates and fats, which means you can no longer get the results you're looking for. That's why athletes struggle because they're not fueling their vehicle to drive the distance that they're trying to go to. That's what makes every athlete different, okay? There is no meal plan that I can give you, okay? Nothing, because why? Who knows what a red potato is in here? Like, who knew before I said that? Who? Okay, so you knew what a red potato was. Who knew what a sweet potato was? All right, you knew what that was. Okay, and you see, you see what I'm saying? Like, someone may know because it's regular in the house and someone may not. Someone may know what brown rice is and someone may not because of what your families do. I don't make that decision. Your families do. But I need you to be the smartest with your food, with what you're confronted with. Not, not with what Coach AJ says, because guess who ain't paying for your groceries? I'm not. So I need you to make the best decisions with that. Now your job is to go back home and say, hey mom, hey dad, hey whoever, I need to get a little bit more fruit, I need to get a little bit more rice and potatoes and, and oats, oatmeal, I need to get more of those kind of things because I need to have a higher carbohydrate diet for baseball training, okay? That's what you need to do. And once you do that, your parents may look at you and be like, 
That's not healthy. What is this guy telling you? And then and I want you to go ahead and tell him you need to call Coach AJ then and he'll explain it to you. Okay? Did you guys get my email? I, I put things in the email so that way you can see it and your parents can see it. And as I explain these things and as we grow in this, I need everybody to, to really, I mean, lock on this stuff and push for your parents to, to bring things into your home that your family can adjust to. Notice how I say, I need you to be supportive and try to work with this. I need you to try to eat too. I need you to try to do this as a family with water because I need those results. I need those results. I need you to perform. I need you to grow. You know why? Because I need you to do your best. And you know, you know what's sad is because so many athletes think about just the game, all right, or think about what they're doing for today. I'm always thinking about tomorrow. How am I going to feel tomorrow? What did I do today that will yield the result for tomorrow? How am I going to get to play college baseball? If I don't do the right thing with my nutrition, how am I going to recover the right way? How am I going to lose fat? How am I going to gain muscle? How am I going to get my speed up? Because life after baseball, you know what happens? You still have to be healthy. And if I can teach you how to eat a balanced diet and do it the right way, you won't ever have to worry about treating your body differently for the rest of your life. And I need that just as much as I need anything else on a ball field. I need you to be healthy forever. When people leave me, they leave better, okay? But for you to leave better, you gotta, you gotta use the stuff. All right, any questions? Okay. Any questions? Good question. What type of rice is the best type of rice? So brown rice is usually the, the, the better. Okay. Brown rice. So the difference between brown and white rice, which white rice is is actually brown rice underneath, if you do not know that, is the degerm process when they strip the rice coating. And so that is where all the nutrients is though. And so I need you to be as healthy inside as possible. Brown rice is gonna be the best overall. And how much rice should you eat in a serving, right? And we're one sitting. Most youth athletes should be consuming about a cup of rice after it's cooked, that is. Like a day or like? Yeah, yeah, it should be. Yep, totally fine. And if you need to, do more. Have you guys ever gone to a Japanese restaurant? Mm-hmm. Okay. Baki. Man. Hibachi is really good. Listen, I promise you this. And Hyatt. And Rosie is my witness. I made them breakfast one day, and I make a mean, mean, huge skillet, okay, of rice and eggs. And I mean, just like you'd get from one of those Japanese restaurants, I'll make a big old thing of it, and you'll eat that until you become a rice ball. <laughs> I mean, I can sit there and eat off of that. That's, that is straight muscle fuel, power pack, right? We talked about that, right? Amino acids, complex carbohydrates, that is muscle fuel. If you want your muscles to perform and to go, that's what you have to do. By no mistake, I didn't get here in my life at my age when my, my whole family, most of my family is obese, okay? And so you may hear a lot about genetics too, okay? You get to choose who you get to be every day. I got news for genetics, okay? You still get to make the choice. It is not what your parents do that paved the way for that. It's what you do with what your parents did that paves that way. Does that make sense? You get to make a choice. I've talked about this a lot this week, so I feel like it does, it does work with this too. A rear view mirror is how big? In your car, right? It's this big. How big's your windshield? Right? You're only supposed to look back for so long, because if not, what you think is going to happen? Bam. It'll mess you up. Look, stay on that windshield, okay? Look, look at how you can get better, but don't forget what it could be like. Okay, don't forget what it could be like, but also know where you need to go. All right, that was a very good question. Any other questions? What is the best fruit to consume? That's a great question. So, what's the best fruit to consume? This could be a lot of different things. So, I'm going to give you the quick, uh, the quick other side to the apple story from yesterday. Um, an apple contains approximately 10,000 micronutrients and antioxidants. So good, you guys ever hear the saying that an apple day keeps the doctor away? Mm -hmm. That's, that's kind of like a real thing. I'm not gonna lie. That, owl, that apple is power packed, okay? Now it may not be the best overall for 
you because your genetics and your DNA has been built on wherever it is that you grew up from. So Coach McGuire, he's, I will introduce him firmly to everybody, but we're officially, however, he's not from here, okay? He's from the St. Louis area, correct me if I'm wrong, and his body is probably used to different fruit structure than what you guys may be used to here in the low country because of what's available. And so your DNA is built on that. So whatever it is that would be grown here that's normal here, kind of like blueberries, something like that, that would be really good to incorporate and that would be your best pick for you and your body, okay? So know that you, the area that your body, your body's chemistry was built on is usually the best fruit to consume. However, an apple, once you cut it open, it starts to do what? Rot. Oxidize, thank you. And once it oxidizes, what do you think happens to the micronutrients and antioxidants? Yeah. Start, starts going down, okay? So we need to eat that apple, okay? Can't let it sit like a McDonald's apple slice on the countertop mm. for five days. You know what I'm <laughs> that apple is not normal. That's not an apple. That's crazy. So I need you to go ahead and try to eat something like that, though. Berries, apples, bananas rank at the top, at the top for athletes. Okay? Don't ever forget that. Berries, apples, bananas rank at the top. Any type of berry? Any type of berry. Okay. Hell, bro, have at it, man. The more, the more different variations. I, I've always said as a, nutri a nutrition coach that you want to eat across the rainbow spectrum. Eat as much different colors across that rainbow in your fruit as you can. I do not mean a bag of Skittles. I mean, that is like straight up like fruit colors, okay? See that? So a good summer salad, right? That, that thing is awesome, but you're going to have to have some real other carbohydrates with it and probably a lot more protein. Not McDonald's. Not McDonald's. Look, I, look, I'm not opposed to that question either. Look, just just know that that an apple in general would be good. But there's some apples that would not be a little McDonald's. Bit. Not McDonald's. Yeah. yeah. No. no. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? Any other questions? Chicken. <laughs> 